In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the Hans and Daniel Naroditsky interview. The interview is over half an hour long, and I'm not really much of an editor, so I'm just going to be watching the whole thing. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm sure it'll be quite interesting. And if you want to listen to it as a podcast or something like that, like you don't actually need to see me or anything, go ahead and do that. I think I can give a pretty unbiased perspective on this. You know, I'm not really like that against Hans. I love I love Daniel Naroditsky as a commentator and a chess content creator. Hans, he's a great player. Obviously, there's all the cheating stuff in the past, but there's no point looking at that and discounting him entirely as a human being and a chess player. If he can, you know, sort of wise up now, and clearly he's performing very well in the semi-finals of the Speed Chess Championship, and if he can be, you know, people call him like the bad boy of chess. If he brings like viewership to chess, then cool. If he can play good chess at the same time, great. One thing I am concerned about is I've seen him do it before, is becoming too antagonistic and combative during interviews for absolutely no reason. A lot of the things that Hans says, like, yeah, I agree with. But then he, Hans will say it in such a way that you just don't want to like him and i don't know whether that's intentional or not it might be but I, I hope he doesn't do that in this interview i've heard this is absolutely wild this interview so this is why i'm doing this uh, i hope you guys enjoy this is my first time seeing this maybe it's yours as well let's get into it well he's now played two speed chess championship matches and he has won two speed chess championship matches grandmaster hans Niemann defeats Wesley So in convincing fashion to <clears throat> book his ticket to Paris, where he will join me. By the way, for those of you who are not aware and are perhaps more new to chess, um, Wesley So is it's like no small feat to beat Wesley So. He may not be like top three, top five in the world right now, but he used to be like three, four years ago, like one of the top three. So it's nothing to be like sneered at hands beating him convincingly. Finalists, including Ali Reza Faruja. Hans, uh, it's been such a long day of chess for you. You must be exhausted. So really appreciate you joining us for a quick interview. What's going through your head right now other than get me away from here so I can sleep before tomorrow's games against Anish? <laughs> no, today was a lot of fun. Um, I think it's actually good that I played these games against Anish because it was just a huge confidence boost. And they have sort of similar styles. Um, uh, so, no, 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 I'm very, very... Um, it's going to be so crazy if Hans faces Magnus in the finals. There's a very good chance Magnus just refuses to play. I hope he doesn't, but it could be very, very dramatic. Uh, obviously, I do have a classical game in, in nine hours, and then we'll... <laughs> six classical games in the next three days, all starting at 10 a.m. So I will enjoy, I don't think I will struggle to sleep now. But that is like absolutely wild, by the way. Like he's saying this casually, but if he's playing two classical games a day alongside the Speed Chess Championship, I don't think a lot of uh, more casual chess players understand how difficult classical chess games are. It's not just the fact that it goes on for like three hours or so, depending on what the time control is, but you have to physically be there. The amount of calories that you burn sitting at a chessboard and just thinking for hours on end is like actually comparable to physical sports. Like it's crazy. And I mean, I know that when I play classical games, I am so, so drained afterwards. Even if it's a fairly easy win, it is draining. So to do two classical chess games a day and play the speed chess championship against the best players in the world, this guy has to be like absolutely insane. And I, I mean like actually insane. <laughs> that is crazy. But um, no, I'm very happy to be, to be in Paris. I'm even happier that uh, chess.com sent two proctors for both my matches. So uh, I don't... Let me... I'm just going to check real quick what a proctor is. Right, so as long as I'm not mistaken, and Google hasn't just baited me, a proctor basically means someone who supervises people. 
Meaning that chess.com is sending people, I mean, assume, I assume, to Hans' physical location to, like, monitor him while he's playing. I hope that this, if, if that is the case, I hope that they're doing it to every player. Because, yes, whilst you might think that Hans is more of a security risk in terms of cheating, I don't know whether you should be treating him completely differently. Um, like if you're going to do it for Hans, surely you do it for everyone else. So I actually don't know what the case is. Please let me know if you do know. But I really hope they're not doing that just to Hans. I don't expect any uh, set uh, uh, people. Uh, so I'm glad to, to show my best chess uh, um, against on, on the on highest sort of online stage. Well, I want to give you the floor to well, kind of share your, your unfiltered thoughts on that. But first, uh, first things first, a uh, question about your match against Wesley. It was basically a wire-to-wire -wire victory. You won the first game. Uh, there was that brief uh, comeback attempt he made with two victories, but you had some incredible comebacks, some saves. You turned some games around and won them. What do you think was the single deciding factor? And at what point in the match uh, did you feel like you had Wesley where you wanted him? Uh, yeah, it was obviously. I, I I think I had a two point lead for a very long time. Um, now, admittedly, I haven't actually watched the match. I believe he won. Hans won like thirteen to ten. Uh, so this is news for me. I'm interested just to hear how the match went. So, and then I extended it to three right before the the one plus one, and, and there I felt very very confident. Um, I don't know. I feel like after. Um, the five plus one, I, I, when I was beating him, was really quite dominant. Um, there were some more, let's say, unstable, chaotic games. But when I was up playing him, it was really, really quite dominant. So I think that he was just sort of tilted. And uh, this match, I was actually watching his camera in the NBA match. I just didn't check it. And seeing his camera... And I do think it's really cool that in these online chess um, matches and tournaments they can see each other's camera because a massive part of like an over the board chess game. And the reason why it's so good in my opinion is because you are sitting across from the other person. If you just play online chess, you have no idea what it's like sitting in a silent tournament hall facing across from your opponent. It's, 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 it's completely different. So I think having cameras, great. I love it. And seeing his expressions after every mistake really boosted my confidence. And um, obviously, this is my first time competing, so one might not, ex you know, uh, obviously, as confident as I might am, it's not like I expected uh, to make it to Paris. Um, but uh, I think my confidence sort of grew, and whenever I have confidence uh, and things are flowing, uh, usually it's a recipe for, for, for good results. I think I like Hans's confidence. People might be critical of it because he is quite confident you can say arrogant but i i think it's good you you have to have a level of arrogance to be a good chess player to be good at anything well, that's reasonable that's enough reasonable. i have two sort of spicier questions and please you know feel free <laughs> to say as much or as little oh, damn, uh, yeah. as you'd like obviously you have a lot of complex thoughts uh, oh. on these issues first of all <laughs> as you yourself uh, alluded to you're playing with a proctor in the this is going to get wild room now i can say firsthand no matter if it's a close friend or your mom or a proctor, it's just harder to play with someone in the room. So you're under observation during the games. And uh, obviously, there's still a lot of people in the chat who cast dispersions on the honesty of your play. If you could kind of send those people a message and share your perspective on what... Very fair comment by Danya, by the way. I love that he represents chess.com, right? Chess.com are imposing this proctor upon Hans with like, you know, with reason, obviously. But he's, Daniel seems pretty unbiased, so I like that. What it's like to play with a proctor and your thoughts on the situation in general. What would that message be? Well, my opponent's <laughs> playing with a proctor, so it's... Yo, yo, Hans's face there. It's, it's sort of a fair environment. Perhaps he's affected more than I am. Okay, okay. So everyone is playing with a proctor or proctors by the sounds of it. So that seems completely reasonable. Um, or I'm affected more than him. Obviously, it's not pleasant, but... Um... You know, the I think the most important thing people should understand is that uh, uh, I'm one of the best players in the world. I've proven that uh, time and time again. Uh, unfortunately, you know, chess.com defamed and lied about the extent of my online cheating. And uh, they continue to sort of, you know, lie and not explain why they banned me uh, 
during the Singfield Cup. Like, I'm still waiting for an answer about why on September 5th, right after I win a game that I was... See, Hans is a very good point here. Like, I love chess.com, right? They're great. But he does kind of have a point. Everyone knows why chess.com are like attacking Hans. Not they're not like attacking him, they're just like cautious, right? And it's with very good reason, because Hans has a history of cheating, and regardless of what your views are on the like chess politics of Magnus, um like kind of holding be, being held in this such like high regard, that his opinion is so important, and obviously Magnus withdrawing from that tournament like two years ago now because he thought Hans cheated. Whether he did or not, who knows? Hans clearly does have a history of cheating. And if that is just him when he was younger online, I mean, it's not ideal, but to ban him from like loads of different events and that, that seems really harsh, in my opinion. I know why it's being done, but it is harsh. Suddenly banned, so they haven't really answered that. So. I think that chess.com... And yeah, so what I was trying to say is, chess.com, that, that is clearly the reason they're doing it, right? I don't think that's controversial to say. They're banning Hans from events and not inviting him to different events. It's like with the St. Louis Chess Club, not like blacklisting Hans. They're doing it because they're like worried that he's a security concern in terms of cheating, right? We all understand that, and he brings a certain level of controversy to everything he does. Not even through his play, but through his interviews and that. He's quite combative, like I said at the start of this video. Does that mean he should be banned, though? I don't know. And why don't Chess.com and St. Louis Chess Club just say why? Like, ban him if you want. That That's fair. You're the, you're the organisers. You're the biggest... Like, St. Louis, incredible organiser of chess tournaments. Chess.com, the best chess website in the world. Like, you have a right to invite who you want and not invite who you don't want. That's fair enough, but don't leave people guessing, I suppose. This isn't a criticism of chess.com necessarily, because like, I understand they don't want to be like defamatory, because that might be defamation if they actually openly say it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it's that big of a deal or not, to be honest, because everyone knows. So I understand his frustration, but I also understand why Chess.com and clubs like the St. Louis Chess Club do what they do. I get it. I'm to blame uh, for a lot of the um, uh, false accusations uh, because I've literally just beaten two of the best players in the world with a proctor, with every single thing. So we don't understand how any performance that I could ever have. In the mm, yeah, I, I don't think you can... Um, you can't question the fact that Hans is clearly one of the best chess players in the world. You can't question that. The rest of my career uh, could not be sort of explainable because other, you know, it's like I'm playing like there's literally one of the best players in the world. Like to beat MVL and to beat Wesley is literally like there are very, very few players in the world who could do it in the fashion that I just did. So I hope that people could understand that uh, I'm one of the best players in the world and uh, I'm going to continue to improve. And uh, the arrogance you know, and is unfortunately, great. You know the chess.com sort of monopoly and mafia. He's not wrong though. Uh, the fame and reputation, but uh, uh, I'm letting the chess speak for itself, and uh, I think that throughout my. I know it's a meme. I know it is a meme, but genuinely, Hans does just need to let the chess speak for itself. Like that is all he can do. To be fair to him, and if he's doing it under the conditions where he has proctors, then fair enough. Like I'm all for it. Like, why would I want someone to not be good at chess if they're good at chess? That's just only fair. My entire chess career, it'll become abundantly clear um, that uh, I deserve an apology. Um, but I'm not a victim, so I don't need an apology. Uh, my, my vengeance will be victory on the chessboard. I genuinely like that, that Vodafone supercharge your world with a new... Sorry about that, I won't make you watch the ad. Let me ask you now about your trip to Paris and a potential matchup uh, against Magnus. Obviously, a lot has happened in Astana. You've got a lot of thoughts about this. Uh, of course, first of all, no disrespect to Arjun. This will be a very difficult match for Magnus, but he is the heavy favorite. Magnus and if he were to out. deliver uh, and become another semifinalist, you are slated to face off against Magnus in Paris. So uh, could you offer your thoughts on um, your stance on Magnus in general and how much you're motivated by a matchup against him? To what degree does that drive you to improve 
And what is your sort of current stance on Magnus and what he thinks about you? I like that Daniel is asking these questions as a big representative of chess.com as a platform. He's asking the questions. They're fair questions. I like it. Well, well to be honest, the, the only concern thing that I'm concerned with is, is playing the best chess in the world. And, and that's what I've done in these past two matches. And um, with regards to, to a matchup, you know, it, I don't understand how the, the chess world has is, is, is become so distorted and, and, and so incapable of, of understanding reality. Uh, the reality is, is that if you assess my over-the-board chess, there has never been a shred of evidence of ever any over-the-board cheating. Every single organization, including the most corrupt ones like chess.com, have proven that I have oh an my innocent. God. The problem is, he's not. I, I said at the start of the video, he's not doing himself any favors here. He is making valid points, but then he calls chess.com corrupt. I understand why he's frustrated, but you're not doing yourselves any favors by making an enemy of so many people by saying something like that. It's just, it's frustrating to watch. It really is, because there's no need to have included that word. You could have just taken the word corrupt out and kept talking. And the only reason that I was defamed and attacked was because someone uh, had through a hissy fit and acted on a personal vendetta to ruin my career. And despite the sort of media attacks. Again, he has a point by saying that he's being attacked, I'm, I'm putting that in quotes, right? Because Magnus had a problem with his play. He's right. Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't have happened otherwise. We can all agree on that. That is not a controversial opinion. Did he need to say hissy fit? Did he need to say personal vendetta? No, he, he didn't. He, it's just unnecessary. And the PR moves. Um... That has happened. But for me, uh, I have absolutely, in my eyes, this is only about proving to myself that I can overcome the greatest obstacle uh, in the world, which is this sort of evil chess mafia, which is working against me. And I don't mean to say this as lightly, like, it's, it's just... I, re I uh, ditto my earlier point. Uh, for me, it's hard to even take these que those questions seriously, because I find the sort of chess establishment to be so so just insane like i don't understand how when you're a 19 year old kid you can be united against by the entire chess establishment be proven innocent time and time again and still have your career attacked and destroyed and blacklisted it's like for me i simply don't even look at these people uh, they're not even i think you have to sympathize with hands like you really do to for me, right, I want to be as unbiased right now as I possibly can. So I have to understand it from both perspectives. From Hans's perspective, he, you know, is clearly an incredible chess player. He's young, he's 19, well he was when everything went down, right? Played some incredible chess, beat the world champion with the black pieces in, you know, what must have been his best game of his life. He must have been on such a high, had like such high expectations and hopes of his future chess career, and then to have everything crashing down on him, with everyone sort of teaming up against him, and seemingly not being able to do anything, and then not being able to prove himself as a chess player, because uh, organize organizations won't let him play, and chess.com, they, they clearly don't like him. I understand why they clearly don't like him, okay? That's not controversial to say. You can understand it from his perspective, but to be as antagonistic as he's being in not just this interview, but so many other interviews, it's just not going to change. He's not going to change anything. For me, they're, they've sort of degraded them. He's just making more of an enemy out of not just chess.com, but everyone. No need. Themselves morally by trying to destroy my life so much that I don't even take them seriously. So um, I'm looking forward to playing Paris. And this entire thing started on the chess game and, and it should end on the chess board. Because what happened was that after I won the chess game, all of these people tried to literally ruin my chess career. They banned me from chess.com. They were literally removed any opportunity for me to prove myself on the chess board. So if you don't want to, so, you know, all these things are saying about no one having a chess board. Why was I banned on chess.com? Why am I not getting evasions of tournaments? And now you're seeing that this is my first opportunity to play against the best players in the world. And what have I done? I've just had an amazing performance. So my motivation, you know, uh, uh, is intrinsic. 
Um, but it's also to, to show the world that even when a complete and evil monopoly is trying to ruin your career, that if you stick to the truth, you have morals and you fight, then, then victory is inevitable. And while at this moment they have may have painted me in this light of this evil, oh, this, this, that, but history will look back on things a very, very different way because, because it's simply so insane to, to, to fathom any circumstance where considering even this performance today that I am not a legitimate player and one of the best players in the world. And um, I really just hope the chess sort of establishment, including chess.com, including FIDE, including Hikaru and Magnus, stop being babies and uh, let me play, you know, handle things on the chessboard. And I assure you that, um, that that's uh, that's going to be the most sort of least cowardly way, cowardly way to handle things instead of just, you know, using lies and manipulation and to, to I do really feel bad for Hans. He seems so frustrated, but he's just digging himself a deeper hole. Ruin my career. So um, I want to clarify your stance on one thing, and obviously no uh, logically minded chess fan or chess player uh, can possibly believe that you haven't proven uh, your worth over the board and in conditions where it is literally impossible to cheat. I think that's uh, not up for dispute, but um, again, this is uh, a spicier question, so please feel free to avoid it if there are uh, any... <laughs> As if Hans is going to avoid a spicy question. In fairness, he must feel like he needs to be controversial in these interviews to try and get people on his side. He must feel like that. He's not doing it in the right way at all, but he's going to answer these spicy questions. <laughs> Legal considerations <laughs> As if he's uh, that you want to. to keep in mind, but... Can I get your sort of clear stance? Um, because from what you just said, uh, you believe that you were unfairly banned. Obviously, I'm not asking you to summarize the entire Sinkfield Magnus situation. But in some of the interviews subsequently, you uh, confessed to doing something uh, to fair play violations long time ago, many years ago. And you pushed back very strongly, as far as I understand, on the chess.com report and on Magnus's behavior surrounding St. Louis. If you had to summarize, uh, first of all, your record on your online play, and second of all, exactly what you take issue with uh, the most in terms of Magnus's behavior and Chess.com's behavior. Could you set that well, record straight? You know, well, well, if you want to go... <laughs> My man is so ready for this. He's been preparing for this moment, I swear. For the Chess.com report, you know, there's, there's a couple oh. of things, right? First of all, on a phone call, Danny Ranch told me himself, and I quote, um, I know you never cheated while streaming, and to quote... And the thing is, is, you know, I, I know that he said that to me and I don't think I could sleep at night if I said that to someone. And then I went out to a report and I just blatantly lied about a 19 year old kid and just destroyed his entire reputation. So the chess.com report is just insane. Firstly, we can start with the pro chess league. They accused me. Of pro I have an interesting nuance that I want to mention. Hans is using pretty like he's using language in a way that's like supposed to evoke emotion right that's clearly what he's doing i'm not saying that's like immoral or not a good thing to do it just seems to be what he's doing right i don't know whether that's the best way for him to be trying to tackle this situation i think he should try and seem more level-headed and objective and logical at the end of the day the people listening to this interview are chess players and chess fans and the people that get to make the decisions at the end of the day are like chess organizers who are surrounded by this world full of people like myself. And I would consider myself and probably the people to be watching this quite objective, logical, probably more unemotional people. So to evoke emotion, to try and get people on your side, I get it. But I don't know if this is the right audience to be trying to do that too. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe my humanities degree is getting the best of me here. But um, that seems to be the case to me. And I get it, but I don't think it's the right move. For cheating in the Pro Chess League, first of all, every single one of those matches was streamed. That accusation of the Pro Chess League only magically appeared when I beat Magnus. All of these other accusations of cheating in prize money tournaments other than I was 12 years old in 2015 also magically appeared. They have no records of any sort of, they say that I admit to these things when they have no records of the specifics of what I admit to. 
they even say themselves that since my ban, I never cheated, but then they banned me right after that. They, they have said, according to them, since they banned me, I never cheated. Why was I cheated the day that they're involved in a merger? So, you know, chess.com really just has no sort of moral or ethical grounds to stand on because you can't explain buying a company for $82 million and then banning me not providing a reason. Like, they said that I didn't cheat again. So, according to them, even I believe that Hans is referring to chess.com buying out chess24 which I believe was like either owned by or heavily like partnered with Magnus. And so what Hans is trying to say, if you're unaware, is that coincidentally, Chess.com have this merger with Chess24, meaning that Magnus is a big part of that. And then once Magnus takes a stance on Hans, Hans is saying that Chess.com just go along with it because they want to keep Magnus happy. That's the argument. I'm not saying that I agree or disagree. I'm saying that's what Hans is saying. In their deluded lie. By the way, if I'm a bit wrong on that, then please just let me know in the comments and I'll pin it so people know. There's no logic. And with regards to, to, to Magnus, it's like, this is not even a, there's no debate here, unfortunately. Um, the chess.com forward is just lies. And Bunny, I don't mean to put you in the hot water here, but I saw an interview in the New York Magazine, and there was a quote from a player who said that, uh, and oh, I played against Hans, and he messaged me admitting, I mean, admitting, saying that he didn't cheat. And uh, obviously that was you, because I can tell based on our conversations. And Danya... And Is Hans saying that... I, I, I hope Hans isn't trying to implicate Danya right now. Because even if Danya like supports Hans, uh, Danya is like very well connected to Chess.com. He's a big representative on it. One of, one of the faces of Chess.com. Don't impl if 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 hmm. if Danya is supportive of Hans. Don't cause problems with him, man. Don't cause problems between Danya and Chess.com. I really hope he's not about to do that. In your art, in this article. Which is an anonymous source. Maybe you want to admit if it was you. You said that you looked at the Bro. games that Chess.com accused me of cheating in, and you weren't even sure that I cheated. So it speaks volumes that I stand by that completely. I... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Hans. Well, it just speaks volumes that that if you look at these games, it's just so insane of the tournaments that they accused me of cheating in. It's Whoa. just it's so like inexplicable and it doesn't make any sense. Like for example, according to them. Is Danya agreeing? That's big. That's big if that's the case. I want, I, I want, I want to hear Danya talk. I, I, I just want Hans to be quiet so Danya can give his view. The Pro Chess League. So if they believe that there was consistent shooting in Pro Chess League, why was it not banned? Like why? It's like it makes how are you competing in the Pro Chess League, and then like they say that I that they're shooting, but then why was I removed from the tournament if they were shooting? Like. Why do these suddenly serious accusations only suddenly just magically appear when they need some reason to destroy my career? Magically appear when there's a merger. So in reality, you can't even take this seriously. Like, you know, so, so Rania, I'd ask you, I understand you work for Just.com, but the funniest thing is this match we played, I was streaming this match. And mm -hmm. in all these games that they're, it's just, unfortunately, Just.com has, no, has lost all credibility after this chess.com report because there are so many logical fallacies the, the worst thing about it all is you have danny ranch who is the ceo of chess.com and he said to me on the call he said we know you never cheated while streaming it's a direct quote i can hear that voice in my head a hundred times and he said this I can't prove that. and the worst part is that he knows he said this and despite him saying this and despite him knowingly lied chess.com a multi-billionaire company decided to destroy a 19 year old kid's career because someone got upset. That is like the reality. In terms of overboard cheating, there's never been any doubt. There have never been any accusations. Not accusations. There's never been any evidence. It's been complete fabrication. CD has shown that, just the comic shown that every single expert has done that. So in reality, uh, I would hope that people wake up and, and stop sort of accusing me um, and start to sort of give me the opportunities that I deserve so that I can, you know, show people how good I am. So... What Daniel says now could be 
big. So, uh, to be clear, uh, just on that article, um, you know, obviously I'm not an anti-cheating expert, so I basically said what I thought. I did look at the games. I personally uh, did not see anything uh, suspicious, but at the same time, I uh, I'm a commentator. I know very little about uh, the algorithm, so I'll uh, you know I'll kind of. So you, you've myself. never consulted just no calm on fair play, don't you? I definitely have, um, and in most cases, you know what? You know what? Fair play to Danya. Like, really fair play, because Hans is putting him on the spot massively here, and I wasn't really a fan of Hans doing that, I literally just said a few minutes ago. But Danya is being truthful. Like, I honestly could not ask for a more unbiased, genuine face of chess.com. I know Danya doesn't own chess.com or anything like that, but he's a big representative of them. Fair play. But if Danya is... He's one of the, you know... He's incredible at chess. I've literally watched videos of him like uncovering cheaters and how how well he can do it, right? If Danya, as a representative of chess.com, thinks that Hans didn't cheat and some of the game, many of the games that chess.com accused him of cheating in to justify actions that chess.com have taken against Hans, if, if Danya thinks that they're a bunch of baloney, Whoa. Whoa. I don't know. The rest of this interview is going to be very interesting. But I see why I was asked to react to this. Um, wow. This is I've been satisfied with their conclusions. But... Um, but in this case, I mean, unfortunately just... not. But, yeah, but, you know, I appreciate the openness of this discussion. Um, it's very surprising for me. But the reality is, is you should just... Dinner wrench. Did you tell me that you knew that I never cheated while streaming? And if you take away that, every single prize money event just disappears. Yeah. And it's like magic. And suddenly, it's everything that they're accusing me of really makes no sense. And I was just, you know, a stupid kid doing stupid things, but never an over the board. And this is just, it's, it's the reality. Um, and that's what, that's what makes me disappointed about the chess world, because it's completely lost face in the thanks um, to the chess world because every single person was complicit in the destruction of my career and um, so I certainly you could say that I'm very motivated uh, uh, to settle things um, but if I, I may course... and, and sorry to interrupt you Hans I'll, I'll let you I'll give you the floor um, just wanted to kind of throw put another thought out there for your consideration and again I'm not necessarily I don't think this I kind of want to take the shoes of someone who will someone... try their best to push back on what you just said in some of the interviews after the Magnus game, you you confessed to cheating when you were you know 12 or 13 or whatever, and I'll give you a chance to set the record straight. Um, what is your message to someone who basically says, well, you know, Chess.com gave Hans a second chance after that initial cheating, and so why should he get kind of the benefit of the doubt in this situation? Can you set the record straight on exactly sort of how many times uh, you've come? At the end of the day, right, the Western world is run on innocent until proven guilty like that is how our entire legal system works and it's what keeps like the world as it is afloat you you i think i tried to take that perspective in the vast majority sorry i think i got cut off there what i'm saying is you have to assume that hans is innocent and try and get evidence to prove that he's guilty not the other way around you can't assume that he's guilty and go like look prove that you're innocent you you can't do it that way around all right sorry if that's abrupt but i am back uh you've committed fair play violations and can sure, you argue so your the, position the, on why that stance is wrong in your opinion this caused more oh, arguments come on. than to make it clear when it comes to sort of prize money events what I have discussed before is there was an incident when I was, I believe, 12 or maybe 13. I think it was August, maybe after my birthday. And that I've discussed in the Piers Morgan interview. And other than that, on the line, very... Hans not, did an interview with Piers Morgan. That is hilarious. Minimal. And the thing that I take issue with Chess.com the most is that they've tried to paint the fact that I've won money and that I have profited from cheating, which is just not the truth. I never cheated while streaming. I never cheated in prize money tournaments. And let's keep in mind, I was a kid, I was a minor. And 
the reality is that when you're a, a kid, you make mistakes. And I regret it so much. It's my biggest regret of my life. But even when I became sort of 15, 16 years old, the idea of cheating in a prize money event, and even the idea of cheating now would, is so far out of my head, it would be the equivalent of suicide for me. Like to, to cheat would be like the complete degradation of my, my character and my life. And at this point, it's so annoying to see these accusations because I never even considered it. It's not even something that crossed my mind. Like, oh, how could I do it? So the reality is, is I was a kid, I made mistakes. I admit to those mistakes, not what Chesna Khan accused me of, which they lied. I suffered a six month ban from prize money tournaments. And that happened. I was a kid, I made mistakes. I would hope that my, I could move on with my life. And the only reason that these childhood mistakes were brought back was not because they were trying to stop me from cheating. It was because there was a vendetta against me and a coordinated sort of effort to ruin my career. They, you know, there are so- See, you can understand what he's saying, right? I, you know, agreed with him before. Of, of course, it's being brought to light. It was brought to light when it was because of the Sinkville Cup match between Hans and Magnus. I agree. Does he need to phrase it like that? No. He needs to say something like, what? Well, well, what I think, just off the top of my head, he should say it in a more um, respectful manner. Something like, Chess.com took the took my previous cheating actions more seriously, in light of the recent controversy surrounding my win against Magnus in the Singfield Cup and Magnus's subsequent resignation from the tournament, withdrawal even. Why? He could just say that. He could just say that. Uh, that's just my opinion, but it'd be a more diplomatic way of going about it. So many young, talented players who have cheated online. Why aren't their names released? Mm -hmm. You know who they are, Danny. You've been a consultant to Chess.com. I'm sure you've seen the link. That, that is true. Like, there are so many cheaters on Chess.com who are banned from it, and Chess.com don't release their names, which, I mean, I'm neither here nor there on that, to be fair. But again, it's treating Hans differently. List, you've seen the names. How many? I'm not involved in anti cheating, but that's in, in, indisputably no, okay, title listen, players listen, have listen, cheated. We're having Kids and adults, so our title players have cheated, and there's no, but, no question that and, that and, is the you case. Know, there, are, there, are, there are young top players who cheat online. There's many grandmasters who cheat online. If Chess.com cared so much, or Magnus or Hikaru cared so much about not playing players who had cheated online, then they wouldn't play them over the board because there are numerous players who have been banned online and they play them over the board. So they're masquerading their literal attempted, no, destruction of my career and they're pretending like it's to protect chess and to protect cheating when in reality, this is a sick, sick personal vendetta by absolutely deluded people with no ethics and no morals. What do you so, think, final? Go ahead. No, but the thing is, is if chess.com wants to like, I served my ban. I made a mistake. What, like, why did that only become relevant when I beat their new brand ambassador? If you guys want to understand why things happened, you look at the timing. So I was why? banned for six months. Why do you think then, Magnus? Why do you think Magnus dislikes you? Why do you, what do you think is in it for? I think he's a, a sick, sick, deluded person. Uh, See, that's just obviously not the case, right? I think. Naroditsky makes a fair point where you, I think the real crux of this is why Magnus behaved in the way that he did after he lost to Hans. If Magnus genuinely thought that Hans cheated against him, I, I, I can understand it. Like, you can understand it. You do get a feeling when someone is cheating against you. That match in particular, I, I, I don't know. Like, that game, sorry, in particular. I'm not sure whether Hans cheated or not. It was a strange game, sure, but strange games happen all the time. But just to say that Magnus just hates Hans and has some sick vendetta against him, come on, it's, it's not really very believable, is it? Why? Why Why would Magnus do that? Uh, who wanted to destroy my life. And he, he did this out of just a pure vendetta. There's no reason why someone would go to such lengths to, 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 to destroy my life. It's, it's, it's truly sick. I like it's. I don't understand how people have have zero empathy for what happened to me. It's it's truly truly terrible because in reality, 
I was a victim in this. I was not the aggressor. I did not cause any of this. All I did was win a chess game. And what I experienced was hell. Absolute hell. My, I, my name, everything was... And, and for what? Because when I was, uh, you know, 12, 13... To be fair, non-chess fans know about this. Like, my brother, um, he's not good at chess. He showed me a video uh, on TikTok the other day of, um, it was like a Minecraft meme where someone was mining uh, for diamonds. If you have no idea what Minecraft is, then ignore me. <laughs> but uh, for those of you who do, and uh, it was like a buzz whenever he was going the wrong way, basically. The point being about the whole um, very strange apparatus that Hans was accused of using <laughs> to win the chess game against Magnus, right? It's ludicrous to me. I don't see... I'm, I'm sure there's a better way to do it if you were going to. But it that is mainstream, and people know, or people's perception of Hans is that, oh, yeah, yeah, that chess guy, like that Hans guy who cheated with the strange apparatus against the world champion, that is a pretty big reputation ruiner, you know? So I, I get it. Even normal people know about that. Ten year old kid, I won $100? Is that really, like, why I, I should be accused of things I didn't do? So the reality, the undisputable facts, just sort of just the calm lied in the Chessicom report. I've never cheered over the board. There's no evidence of that. I've just showed how good I am. Uh, I, I don't understand how you can't reach the conclusion um, that Chess.com, uh, Magnus, Hikaru, and uh, the entire Chess.com streamers all colluded um, to destroy my life. Not because they believed I was a cheater, um, but because uh, they had a financial vested interest with each other. And um, some people exerted their power in, in ways. Uh, and, and Danya, in reality, you've, un you've, you've experienced ways that Chess.com has abused their power. We all remember... Chess Bay and Hikaru and uh, all these things. You've written your manifestos. You understand how ridiculous the chess world is and, and how chess.com can abuse their power and how people like me who fight up for truth. It's, it's honestly funny because in the entire time, I've actually fought for the truth while people have branded me as something. But in this entire time, I've stood by the truth. I stood by principles. And I'm sure that in due time, I'll be rewarded. Well, I, I really appreciate your honesty. Uh, obviously, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. I, I've always tried to be honest with my thoughts regarding... This is very tough for Danya. It really is. And I think, I, I said before, he's, be, he's doing such a good job at this. He's being truthful. He's not hiding the truth. And he's not being antagonistic towards anybody. Like, great guy. Uh, the Magnus incident against you in the Singfield Cup. And... Uh, just one final question to tie it up. If you had the chance to have an on-air, and this is coming from me, not I'm not put up to ask this question. If you could speak to Magnus on-air, and let's say Danny, Magnus, and you had the chance to be on a call together and to have an honest conversation where... I don't think that would ever happen. I, I would like it to happen. It would never happen. Like, why, why would Magnus or... Um, Danny Wrench agree to it because the problem is they have everything to lose Hans has nothing to lose by doing a call like that he has everything to gain and Han, um, sorry, Danny and Magnus would have everything to lose and nothing to gain so that would never happen all of the information was exposed your perspective, Magnus' perspective chess.com perspective would you be comfortable with such a call do you feel like you have nothing to hide to such a degree that you would be comfortable talking to both of them on air. And are you interested in improving your relationship or do you feel like the abuses that they've committed against you uh, will harm your stance toward chess.com and Magnus for the rest of your life? Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this respectfully, Don. Good question. Uh, I understand that you, know, you, were, you, you were in, uh, uh, you work for chess.com and, and, and I don't want you to lose your job. Um, but, 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 don't worry about me, just reality, in your mind. The unfortunate reality is that these people... That is perfect journalism, really is. ...did such heinous things to me that, that honestly, I, 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 I see them not... not I, don't, I don't see... I see the relationship, and I see them as people. It's, it's so irreconcilable that it is, it is so beyond repair because it was truly, truly sick with...
you you can't fix a relationship. It is a relationship, right? Between Hans and the majority of the chess world, right? And all the organizations. You can't fix a relationship if you're not willing to forgive past actions. You have to be willing to forgive it. Otherwise, why would why would chess.com want to give Hans a second chance? Why would they do it? He, Hans has to be willing to go like, look, I don't agree with what you did to me, but if you're willing to make it right, then I would really appreciate that. What they did. Imagine you are 19 years old and you have the greatest victory of your life and you reach the top stage and a multi-billion dollar company in combination with a company that's about to merge and all the most powerful players accuse you of something you didn't do. And imagine it was impossible for you to prove your innocence despite it being abundantly obvious. And yeah, he, he, he can't really prove his innocence. Like, what can he do? All he can do is say, I didn't cheat. And then everyone else can say, mm, no, we think you cheated, mate. And then, like, he can go, well, that shouldn't be how it works because it's innocent until proven guilty, you know? And imagine, Daniel, like, how you would feel if they continuously, continuously attacked you. So, so, so please <laughs> think about it. Put yourself in my shoes and being a 19 year old kid. I'm accusing me of cheating right now. Uh, as, uh, recently yes, but, as but, but, but does that affect your life? Does no. that, do you understand that I was literally branded as a cheater in all of the news when I didn't cheat? Do you understand? All it's a fair point. It really is a fair point because, okay, I didn't even know that Narodetsky was being accused of being a cheater. But someone accuses Narodetsky of being a cheater, let's say. Everyone goes, okay, well... Obviously, he's not. Like, we all know that's not true, and some random person has said it. The problem is, this isn't a random person. So it's different, unfortunately, for Hans. Like, it's not like some random... It's not like Kramnik, let's say, has gone, oh, Hans, you're cheating, mate. It's like every everyone at the time was saying, no, we think you cheated. That's the difference, unfortunately. All of this anal beads, all of this. Do you understand that I like go outside? <laughs> I didn't want to say that when I was talking about it, but that's the apparatus that I was referring to. And I have to live with this insane label of something that I didn't do. And yeah. do, you, do you understand when you have reporters calling, you know, your family trying to get the latest scoop on you? You have reporters calling friends from 13 years old to try and find something. You, 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 it's impossible for someone to comprehend the insanity of what they unleashed upon me without experiencing it yourself. But what it makes me realize is that there are truly sick, evil people in the world, and that has given me the ultimate faith that I must defeat them. And I've defeated them on the chessboard, and I'm going to continue to defeat them on the chessboard. And uh, there's no... These people, are their head is so far up their ass that they, they, they could not admit any fault. Like... It, what is Chester going to say? Oh, yeah, we, we lied in our Chester Com report? Are they going to admit that ever? That would... Pff, come on. <laughs> or, yeah, I, I don't think they can. They've caused so much controversy and drama already to take it back. Maybe it's the right thing to do if they genuinely think they've made a mistake, but I don't know if you can do that at this point. Like there's, the, they they went so far and they lied so much that there's simply no way to even like talk. See, I I feel like they must have made a mistake. I don't think they're out to get anyone. Why would they be? It's because if you think about it, take someone like Ferruja. Ferruja, I'm sure, beat Magnus at some point when he was like seventeen, eighteen, right? And when he did that. Everyone would have been like, oh, that's so great. Like, that's so cool. A young guy is on the scene. Take uh, Gukesh winning the candidates, for example. 17-year-old winning the candidates. Whoa, that's so cool. Like, he played some insane games. Chess.com, why would they, like, want to downplay something like that and say, oh, no, 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 it's only because he cheated. They didn't do that with anyone like Ferruja or Gukesh or anything. And I guess the difference isn't even Magnus, because... Magnus has lost some of these young guys, and the main chess media, including chess.com, go, whoa, that's so cool, that's so great, they've done so well, this is the future of chess. Here, that didn't happen. I actually don't know why. I really don't. And it's really sad. Right? There's, there's not even way... How do you even speak to someone who, like, just lies, blatantly lies, and then just uses all of their, like, resources and money and power to just destroy your life? Like, there's no... Just...
what I'm saying is I don't see any incentive for Chess.com or Magnus to destroy Hans's life. I don't see why they would. Also, ignore the plaster. I took a bit of a break from recording in the middle, and I like cut my finger open. <laughs> it's cheap. I I did it really stupidly, but um, yeah. Anyway, discussion to be had. That's fair enough. I mean, uh, just to be clear, Hans, I uh, I'm speaking the truth when I say that I'm not on the anti-cheating team, and I have zero insight into the algorithm. Just like um, I was not responsible for uh, the VSU ban and did not initiate that. So. Um, well, that's another great thing because my, I don't know. Yeah, the thing is that, that's like, a tough situation. Why was he banned? I really would love to know. I, I don't understand. Um, well, I would love for I, you know, Donny. Um, I have I an think the games. I will sponsor a match. I think um, Chessbrad did a great video talking about that ban. If you're not aware of it, I'm sure Levy probably addressed it as well. So that's another really sucky situation. Of you against Brandon Jacobson, and if you beat him in an over the board match under any circumstances. <laughs> With A4 Rook A3 on every, on every game? Guaranteed. Sorry? With A4 Rook A3 every game? <laughs> A4 Okay, to recreate that with your preparation is impossible. But you can... You I, want to I haven't looked at the line for more than five minutes, Hans. I think the issue was not the fact that... No, no, no. Uh, I, I saw the games you played. You, you looked at the line. But the thing is, Dania, is that Brandon, as you just saw, beat Prognanta. And I'm sorry, Brandon's a very, very strong player. And... Um, I, I, I simply the, have no that's faith. the first He's thing I, I, I conceded. I mean, Sorry? I don't think any I don't think any honest person is arguing that he is an absolute beast. And I, whether or not he cheated against me, I wish him uh, and you, of course, uh, the, the best in his chess career. But surely, you know, a four or k three is a slight complicating factor in any match. But I I don't want to change topics. Well, well, and, well, and I, I, I want to let you sleep. Go ahead. Go to conditions that would let you test his strength under any circumstance. And I will sponsor and organize it. And if <laughs> it is unsatisfactory, based on the terms you agree, oh I will donate $10,000 to charity. Because instead of him being banned and chess.com not replying to his emails for months, why don't we organize a match just like Jocelyn Minikaro did and settle things at the chessboard? Let's not just ignore people and ban them and not actually discuss things. Danya looks kind of uncomfortable there. Because that's a tough situation for Hans to be putting him, him, him in. Daniel has been supporting Hans this whole interview, really, so I don't know whether Hans should be confronting him like this, but it must feel like his only way out, to be fair to Hans. Um, that would be really interesting, though, if, um, basically, if you're not aware of the situation, um, this Brandon guy played Naroditsky in, like, a series of bullet or blitz matches, played this stupid opening every single game, A4, Rook A3 where basically bishop takes a3, knight takes a3 happened every single game, because it was like a4, e5, rook a3, bishop a3, knight a3, and he won the vast majority of the games. I've seen the games. It doesn't look like he's cheating. It really doesn't. But it's a tough situation for Daniel to be in, because Hans is saying, look, I don't think this guy cheated. He got banned for no reason. Why don't you play against him, and we'll prove that he wasn't cheating. That's what Hans is saying, and that would be crazy if that happened, but... I don't know, if anyone were to do it, Naroditsky might, to be fair. So, I would donate says. 10 grand to charity of your choice, we can agree on the terms, and you can see Brandon's level, we can play 500 games, we can play 100 games, 200 games, why don't we go over the board, we can even do it on the computer, Rick's. you can do any experiment you'd like, any experiment you'd like, and but his Hans his, Brandon's strength is not di disputed by anybody other than haters, and I object to them uh, just as strongly. Whether uh, he cheated or not, surely as a as a serious player, Hans, you can understand that starting a game with a minus three position <laughs> and winning a match by thirty at least is grounds for discussion. Um, by, by winning 30. a regular match. No, yes, no, I, I think it's grounds for discussion. But I watched the game. I looked at the games, Danya, and there were really nothing that impressive. And you know, we are all victims of yeah. guilt. And I really think that the due process of chess.com, and I'm speaking... Yeah, I don't know why Hans is being antagonistic towards Stanya here. It's not helping him. Speaking of my experience, I was banned on September 5th or whatever it was, and chess.com has not given a reason. They've said, they've, like, they've not said we banned him because of this instance or that instance. They just, they banned me during a merger at the, at this time, you know, so, like, for me, I don't understand how you can take chess.com seriously in any respect when they just blatantly lie in the chess.com report. Um, and like, it's just like the chess.com report is, is probably the most embarrassing. Okay, one more thing, just, just to put the nail in the coffin. In the report, they put 
they quote Ken Reagan. And it's just, in the report, Ken Reagan is quoted and he literally disagrees with what they wrote. Like the, the report says that Ken Reagan says maybe like 40 or 50 games. They accuse me of more than 100 games. And then they include Reagan's thing, which disagrees with them. And then somehow uses that as evidence. Like, I, I don't understand like how that makes any sense. Like how you're citing someone who blatantly disagrees with you. And they, you know, they didn't even have, and of course they released the chess.com report the day before the US championship, hoping that the US championship would kick me out of the tournament. So, you know, if you want to go there, we can go there of all the different tactics and things that are being done. Or why am I not playing in the St. Louis Chess Club? Why is the St. Louis Chess Club not inviting me to a single tournament? You know, I wonder why Hikaru is pressuring the St. Louis Chess Club to not invite me to a single tournament. Why has the St. Louis Chess Club not responded to my emails for ever since I St. St. Louis Cup? I played the Fall Chess Classic and I played... Um, I'm not a fan of the St. Louis Chess Club blacklisting hands. I think that's unfair. You, you you can't just blacklist him, I don't think, because he hasn't done anything wrong in an over-the-board tournament at a St. Louis event. I think the Singfield Cup might be hosted by the St. Louis Chess Club, but there's no proof Hans cheated that game. There's only mass accusation. That's not proof. I Again, I understand why they've done it, but man, that's, that's tough. Uh, the US Championship... And since then, not a single invitation came. Emails weren't replied to. Suddenly all this happened. So listen, I'm sorry. The whole chess world is in collusion, in coordination. And uh, so someone sort of needs to wake up and, and realize what's happening. Well, I think uh, it's getting late for you. I, I really appreciate your honesty. <laughs> to be clear, I might take you up on the match uh, with Brandon. And, uh, you know, I have no ill will toward him. Also, that would be so cool. Fair play, Danya. Uh, you know, he, I wasn't the only person... Uh, that got crushed by uh, the new opening. I'm looking forward to the course, though. And uh, one <laughs> last question, Hans, just to uh, just to soften. Bro is so diplomatic. Oh my god. In the atmosphere again. I really appreciate your honesty. I think there's a lot of questions that will uh, hopefully get more clarity in the coming days and weeks. Um, you're matching against Anish Giri. You're leading it by three. Uh, that match continues tomorrow. Can you very quickly summarize? How many more days are left in the match and uh, the Hans Niemann versus the world tour in general? Yeah, so my, my website, gmons.com, is sort of sponsoring the tour. And um, as I've mentioned, with the lack of invitations, I decided to challenge the players myself. Um, so good idea. Uh, thankfully, I have some sponsors on my website, which is supporting uh, that endeavor. And there are four more days left. Um, we have... I fully support that. Three days of double round classical. We finish with six rapid games. Um, after that, I'll be playing a match in London against uh, Vitugov. So if you want to come watch the match, there are tickets. Anyways, also in Paris at Blitz Society, which is just bar. So be... also there's even, you can come watch in Utrecht. The tickets are free here. Um, but uh, basically it's sort of, I'm plus three points. A classical game is three, rapid two, blitz one. So it's sort of like a equivalent, like a one game classical lead. Um, so yeah, I have a game in um, eight and a half hours. Looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> hoping to continue to challenge even better players with this series. Um, so, uh, you know, you should check it out on my Twitch. There'll be commentary. And go to my website, jamhons.com. It's much better than chess.com. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, that match. Uh, Hans, I'll see you in Paris in person, I think for oh the first God. time since our game at the Mechanics Institute. Well, I'll make sure uh, Brandon is there. Don't worry. All right. I'm, uh, <laughs> let's decide everything over the board. I'm down for some blitz matches. But best of luck to you, Hans. Get some sleep. Uh, thanks for sharing your honest thoughts. And of course, congratulations on your win against Wesley. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow. That was nuts. I'll do a quick summary here. But basically, Danya... I mean, Hans isn't introducing anything new here, right? It's kind of the same spiel. Um, I'm, uh, this isn't me like discounting what he's saying. It's kind of just the same thing, right? Everyone's in collusion against me. They're all, they're all horrible people, blah, blah, blah. Not helping himself. Danya is kind of giving Hans a lifeline by being like, yeah, I wrote that article. I don't think you cheated. And then Hans is kind of going like, well, what about Brandon? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I can totally understand both sides of the argument. And it's going to be very interesting to see how chess.com respond to this, whether people like Magnus respond to it. I'm interested to see what people like Chessbra, Hikaru say, and I'm sure... 
they will be doing so very shortly if they haven't already. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of insightful into some of the um, context surrounding some of these situations, accusations, and I hope it does seem like a bit of an unbiased review, but honestly it doesn't seem like Hans is the bad guy really doesn't. I've been sympathetic from the start, but more so now than ever. If you want to check out some of my other videos on my channel, then, you know, there'll be some end card here, but I, I speak like this in my videos. I play mediocre type chess, so hopefully that's of interest to you, and we'll see what unfolds in the coming days and weeks. Thank you for watching.